What's up, YouTube? We're back today with another cool video. Today, I'm going to talk about stream overlays. Where do you find them? How do you get them? Um, we're not going to talk about how to install them um, because most of the websites that I'm going to show you today, they come with instructions and tell you how to do it. So I don't want to waste your time on that. But a lot of people don't know where to go. So I've compiled a list of three websites. And what's cool about these three websites is it's going to work on Streamlabs OBS. It's going to work on OBS Live. It's going to work on OBS Studio. No matter what you use, it's going to work for it. And that's the cool part. All right, so we're going to hop into it. And there's a lot of cool things you can do. So I, I recommend going to look through all three of the websites because you may find something that you're not going to find in the first two. All right. So make sure you take a look at all three and then make an educated decision on which one you want to use. And remember, even if you pick one, you're not stuck with it. OK, you can go back, you can change it. You can always upgrade your stream. And that's one of my favorite parts about streaming is save, you know, what you start with. And then later down the road, go back and look and see how far you've come and see how far you've grown as a content creator. It might actually really surprise you. All right, so the first one is probably my favorite and that's visualbyimpulse.com. Now they just got picked up by Elgato, which is super cool because you guys know I love Elgato products, right? So in the future, maybe their products are gonna work a little bit better with the Elgato stuff. Maybe it's gonna have some integrations with the Stream Deck, um, you know, things like that. I really think that's cool. You know I love Elgato and Elgato is absolutely the best products out there for streaming. Nothing even comes close. So using their site's pretty easy. You just go over and click on store. Now the way I do it, you can click on free right here and then it will show you everything that they have for free. But if you type in free in the search bar, okay, and then click on stream packages, it'll show you the ones that are absolutely free. Why am I blind? There we go. Um, they got five packages up right now. These do change semi often, so come back and take a look. Um, but you click on it, and it's gonna have a little YouTube video kind of show you what you're getting, or you can scroll down and it tells you what's included. So you get your alerts, your icons, overlays, scenes, profile art, your one click setup, etc. Uh, 79 different panels, which is cool. So you can, you know, maybe you're gonna use About Me and, you know, different things like that. There's 79 different options you can use. But my favorite part about VBI is in their free packages, they provide the design files, the PSDs, the Photoshop documents. So you can actually go in and make these your own. Not a lot of places will do that. Not a lot of places give out their secrets like that. So it's super cool, a VBI, and I highly recommend them. Um, now, they do more than just stream packages for free. You can get you know anything from Stream Deck icons to webcam borders, etc. There's so many different things. I highly recommend coming to check out this site. VBI is awesome. There's no one better. Um, so go check it out. Let me know what you think, and we'll hop into the next website. All right, the second one is nerdordie.com, and this one is also pretty cool. You can find a lot of rad stuff on here. Um, this one is pretty popular as well. VBI and Nerd or Die are probably the two most popular ones that I know of. Um, this one's a little bit more tricky to find what you want though. So the easiest way I can find to do it is you go to shop and then click on name your price. Now this will bring you to a bunch of different options, um, but don't be fooled. These ones that say $30 are free option. They're not actually free. They just give you parts of the overlay for free. So you want to like scroll down a little bit until you find the ones that say suggested price. And those are the ones that are going to be absolutely free. So you click on it. It's pretty similar to VBI where it shows you exactly what you get. It's not in video form now. Um, so you get your stream package, you know, your different scenes that they have, your camera overlays and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It's exactly what it says, though. Name your price and that price can be zero. Um, but these two guys do put a lot of hard work into it. So I do suggest, you know, maybe doing what they do with a suggested price. You know, two dollars isn't a whole lot. But if you can't do it, free is obviously free. Just make sure to pay it for it someday. Um, but there's a lot of cool stuff on Nerd or Die. I highly recommend going to check this one out too. They do have some Stream Deck icons and different things like that that are just outside of a full stream package. But overall, this site's cool. Their stuff is very, very clean and I recommend you check it out. Let's get into the next one. All right, and the third and final one I'm gonna share with you today is StreamElements.com. A lot of you are gonna be familiar with Stream Elements because you can do your alerts or donations or all of that through Stream Elements. Now, they do pretty good with their themes. I'm not gonna lie, there's some pretty cool ones in here. I've seen some rad ones on Twitch. Um, it's pretty easy to get to. All you do is go to StreamElements.com, click on Themes Gallery, and then here they all are. There's a ton of them. There's a ton of them. Now, all you got to do to see what you're going to get with each theme is click on preview. Find one you like. Um, we'll do this one, the Operator Animated Super Theme. Just click on preview. It'll pop up. It'll show you what it's going to look like. There's different scenes. You know, here's your starting soon, your be right back, your stream ending. There's so many different things you can do. 
and there's so many different ones and they also make it really easy to change between different themes so that's something that you know you may want to look into if you are someone that likes to change what you do on twitch a lot now, there's so many different cool things like look at this one i mean the stream ending scene is absolutely rad so check it out let me know what you guys think and hopefully you guys find some use out of these three websites all right guys so those are the three sites i got for you i know when i was a new streamer it was super hard to like try to find where to find all these free things um i ended up trying to make my own and it just doesn't work good when you're not a good designer like i know i'm definitely not and you know maybe you aren't either but hopefully that provides you some value and if it did please hit the like hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next week for another tip we'll catch you later guys